yesterday, Hillary Clinton, today, John Kasich, both say we should establish a no-fly zone in Syria. Would you do that? I don't think so. I think what I want to do is I want to sit back, and this does not sound like me very much, but I want to sit back and I want to see what happens. You know, Russia got bogged down when it was the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. They thought that would be quick and easy, and they'll go in, they'll clean you it up. You think he's falling into a trap? Well, I think, it's, I think it's not going to be great for them, if you want to know the truth. All right, joining us now is Major General Paul E. Vallely, retired Major General of the U.S. Army and Chairman of Stand Up America. And uh, General, thank you for joining us. I know you're in Paris, and I know you had a chance to meet in Vienna with uh, former members, uh, senior members uh, of the Syrian government. Uh, we know that Putin uh, put more tanks and troops on the ground today. Uh, what's, what's your take on what's going on over there? Well, uh, we also visited the refugees uh, by the hundreds that came in on the train via Hungary and had some excellent briefings. But uh, we've outlined a new plan called the New Syria Plan, uh, uh, Steve, and it's uh, six major points. Number one, uh, there has to be a ceasefire. They've got to stop bombing innocent Syrians and the villages with very limited effect on ISIS. And so what we're calling for uh, basically a no-fly zone uh, offensive actions only against ISIS, and uh, they have got to press forward because nothing's going to happen, Steve, unless Assad steps down and they form a new interim government, and that's what Putin's got to do. He can be a hero in all of this if he takes the actions that we've outlined, that we've outlined in a press conference here in Paris in two days, and we'll also be proposing it to the Russians. So uh, this whole thing is about resettlement of the Syrians. They want to go back to their home country, but they have to have a resettlement safe zone to come back into, and we're recommending that for western Syria. At the same time, they put in an interim government. There are three or four uh, very popular names that will bring the Syrian people together again. But Assad has got to move out. He's got to retire, and the Russians got to ensure they move him out of there before anything positive is going to happen. Well, let, let, well why, let, me, let me ask you, play devil's advocate, why would Putin do that? Well, he can be a hero. If he's looking to the future of Syria, and we can create uh, enterprise zones down there, manufacturing, high-tech development, a future economic uh, program for Syria, but you have to secure the country first. Putin could be a real hero. I'm hoping our plan will convince him to say, Assad, you've got to move out. We've got to put in some people to bring the Syrians together as a people again. Move them out of the uh, European areas right now. And they want to go home. We talk to them. They don't want to be lost souls in Hungary, uh, in Germany, in Sweden, in part of going to Switzerland. I mean, it is a mismatch. It's a mess. And they're coming here with one bag in their hand. They want to go back to their country, but you've got to secure Syria first. That means that Assad has got to go, a new interim government put in, and stop the fighting, and Russia stop bombing innocent civilians. You know, General, it's interesting. I don't know if you were in transit or if you had a chance to hear President Obama's press conference on Friday, but he said he's willing to work with the Russians if the Russians are are, you know, along the lines, put it this way, he didn't say that Assad has to go anymore. He kind of talked about a, a, a new role for Assad or, or you know, or huh. some, some he, he, yeah. just, he didn't use the language, Assad has to go. And I found that very striking at the time. Well, he's trying to play a deal, I think, uh, with Putin, and Putin's not going to fall for it. But if you can create a situation for Putin to realize they could be re, re, uh, real heroes in bringing this country back together and the people together and creating a safe zone. And uh, Putin won't do that. He doesn't realize that he's very stupid because the Syrians know that Assad has to go. Nothing will happen to Syria positively until Assad and his senior people move out of that country and a new interim government put in. That is a must -y. Other than that, nothing's going to work. Very quickly, we've got 30 seconds. Is, Assad act uh, is uh, Putin actually hitting ISIS at all? Well, they hit a few targets up near Rakao, which is a very large area, but mostly they've been bombing the uh, Free Syrian Army uh, and killing a lot of civilians. Uh, a lot of children have been injured. Right. Uh, very limited. And we got this from an inside report inside Syria okay. while we were in General, I appreciate, so, your, I appreciate your insight, sir. Thank you for weighing in, General Paul E. Vallely, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, give me five. Uh, but first, I want you to remember to tune in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. We're having a sit-down interview with Dr. Ben Carson, who will be joining us to discuss his candidacy, the GOP race, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, 
and his new book, A More Perfect Union. And uh, tomorrow he's going to weigh in. Uh, I will ask him about Trump and uh, what Trump had to say that if the polls, his polls go down, he'll drop out. Uh, we'll also ask him about the uh, targeting of Christians uh, at that uh, college, community college in Oregon. So it should be interesting to hear what he has to say. So with this in mind, and the fact that Dr. Ben Carson and Donald Trump are neck and neck in most of the polls, we want to know from you who is your 2016 GOP candidate. All you have to do is go to NewsmaxPolls.com and vote right now. That's NewsmaxPolls.com. Do it now because we want to hear from you. Gimme Five is next.